Hi everyone, Alvaro. I'm back, and this is what they look like. And it has a really good orange flavor taste to it, um, and stuff. And I leave them cool, and then I, I, I uh, leave them cool, and then I, I'll slice them, you know, into decent slices and stuff. Like I said, it was hilarious that I made it as far as I did in that baking competition, but it worked. And the calorie count is 84.95 for a slice. Carbs is 15.87. Fat is 1.77 and proteins is one. Okay. This is more or less like a snack bread that I made. It'd be like a raisin or a cinnamon bread, something like that. Um, and stuff. And people have asked, you know, like when I first started the j uh, journey and stuff, you know, it was really hard for me because I was really, really heavy and I was just sick all the time. But where I'm at today with my journey, with my life and everything, and with, you know, my health, it's great. Because when you have good health, you can really get a lot done. You know, like today, I've already made plaky play, today. I've made my orange bread. Uh, I have a meal to make yet, but I have to do some errands, and I can run that. But first, I get my sandbags right back in the truck level because we've got high winds, and it'll blow my truck back and forth. So, uh... Anyways, they, uh, you know, that I can go do my running. But it's awesome and stuff. And I think anybody that does a fitness, you can, anybody can do a fitness journey. It just matters how you want to do it. Now, I am thankful because, you know, I'm able to have a trainer. Not everybody can. Um, you know, like I told my trainers last week when I bought my house down here, He's like, well, what? He says, you still need to keep, kick, kick your butt, kick your ass. True, because I do get lazy sometimes and work out like Tuesday. I was freaking dying. This is no lie. So we had all these deadlifts to do. And he's like, well, girly, you're not going to do. I had a kettlebell swing and a treadmill. Because I do a, a regular treadmill in the morning, and we have two treadmills up, but they're different ones. So it's like a sprint treadmill. And he's like, you're not going to do that today because I already did treadmill in the morning. He said, I'm going to kill you on deadlifts. I had to go take a nap in the truck. And my other trainer said the day before, he had taken a nap in the car. And somebody went to the gym and then I questioned. And I had these people looking in my truck. And I was like, and they were going into this playland for little kids. And I would be like, or into this, this uh, athletic store. I would open my eyes, you know. And as soon as they left, I'd be like laying back down. I was just so tired because I then had to squat. I had a 270 pound leg press and stuff. But I made it, and then I had a sled push 10 times with three 45-pound plates, and I was freaking dying. And he's like, move, move, and, and stuff. And everybody was laughing, and they're like, man, how do you do it? Because my body's conditioned now for that, so I can actually struggle. And when you do strength conditioning, that's what you do is you fight through those reps. And my trainer always tells me, fight through it. You got this. You got to fight through it. And just like the other day, I had 185 sumo. And I had two, and he's like, why didn't you check through? I already know what I wasn't going to do it. So he yelled at me, he's like, strip it down. He says, oh, you're done. And his stuff, and he, but it was funny because I was supposed to try, but I already knew I couldn't. So since I knew I couldn't, I just decided, hmm, I ain't doing it. <laughs> I got yelled at. But see, that's why I love my trainers. And I'll tell my trainers, I, they'll introduce me, and they'll be like, everybody has the highest respect for me in there, and they'll be like, I said, yeah, I'm the biggest pain in the ass, you know, and, and my trainer's like, you got that right, and you think they didn't like me, but they love me to death because I really do put, I really do work hard in there. I go in that gym, I stay focused, okay? When I go in there, I go in there for a purpose, and I have to because those are my workouts, and those are what keeps my weight off. Those are what keeps me alive, okay? Without that, I'd be dead right now, and I can't have that because... I've got to be able to stay focused, you know, and do what I need to do. And I'm proud of who I am. I love my body. I love myself. And to accomplish what I've accomplished is something that I don't think anybody could do. It's hard, but you can do it. But you don't how like realize how hard it is, you know. And it's very, very hard. It's probably one of the hardest journeys if you ever have to take a fitness journey that you'll be. And I get told all the time how gorgeous I am. I was out the other night and uh, and stuff and, and, and somebody made 
a comment. No, uh, the guy that I'm seeing, he's a major player downtown in a uh, business. He deals with CEOs, major mall projects, and uh, what was the other one? Malls and hotels projects. So, and things like that. So he is a major player and stuff. And I only date people that, and he owns a home. He just bought a brand new car cash. He owns a condo up at the lake where my lake house is. But his condo is open. Mine's not. So, uh, I'm looking excited next weekend, you know, to go up to the lake and go home and actually be with somebody because I'm always alone up there, you know, and the summer's going to be fun because I get to go fishing and I have somebody to go fishing with, you know, and things like that. I mean, I love to fish, you know, uh, and stuff. People laugh because they, I love to fish. One time I lost a fish and uh, I was on fish from a friend of a fishing boat because he has, owns a charter. And he's like, Elvira, don't you ever blink oh, lose the effing fish again? And I did, and I never did. I got the rest of the fish, and we got our quota. We went uh, fishing for walleye. And then he took me once for perch, too. And stuff. Because I, I, I know a lot of people up there at home, and they'll take me fishing, you know. And I have to go buy a fishing license. And plus, i got to go check on the lake house anyways. I've had friends check on it that open it up for me. So I'm okay there. They're all proud that I bought a house down here that I won't be renting anymore because they're proud of me because they know I've been through hell and they're like, we, they follow me, my f show and everything and everybody at home does and everybody is glad that the drama's over and I am too and and stuff. But yeah, it's, it's unique because I'm excited in three weeks I'll be going home every weekend. So, and people haven't seen me since last year because I didn't have all the weight off. I wasn't a size 10 last year. When I left to go home, I was a size 14. So I'm a size 10 now. So it's, it's gonna be so cool to see everybody and they'll be like, Elvira, how you doing? And every time I walk in anywhere, they always play the Oak Ridge Boys Elvira song, you know. And it's cool. It's cool. I'm getting I'm getting excited to go home. Next weekend is gonna be cool. But he's over in Catawba, which is Boku Bucks. Because those condos over there run anywhere from a half a million to a million dollars. And I know that because I know that area. My I'm in Marblehead. And we have million dollar homes, but my house isn't that much, you know, uh, and stuff. So, yeah, and I'm excited to go home next weekend and, and, and just to see everybody. And so I'm, I'm cool. And I don't have to drive. But he runs that run that I run up north every week, and he's like, I don't know how you do it. I'm used to the doing the run. I've done it for maybe 12 years now. 12 years so I know that I'm run by the back of my hand and stuff so but it's unique and it's it's fun I'm really excited uh, stay tuned though we are gonna do something with tuna fish I haven't decided if I make a big tuna fish salad for the week or if I'm make a tuna casserole I haven't really decided I'm gonna figure that out I have to run and get some stuff over at Verizon and fix my sandbags in the truck before I leave because the winds are like 50 miles an hour because at home they close down the turnpike so and stuff and when they turn down the turn when they shut down the turnpike that's major and the how the how I'm from Ohio and that's everybody knows that so the how state patrol will shut down the turnpike and only they won't let you on because of the way the wind blows and I've had that happen up on 23 before um, you know and stuff like that with the wind because it's all open 23 to 15 that's all open country running up north to Toledo so uh, that run and I know that run like the back of my hand um, I've gotten caught in some major snowstorms out there you know some major ice and rain and stuff you gotta know what you're doing uh, I grew up in that area so I'm, I'm pretty familiar on how to drive and stuff even at home I'll never forget. I uh, everybody calls me Alvar, you know, and they're like, but when I go home, it's nice because it's small. It's a small town. I can walk everywhere. It's safe. Uh, that's what I love about it. You know, everybody knows everybody. Sort of, it's like a little Mayberry, like with Andy Griffin show, you know, and stuff back in the day. My dad used to watch it, and it's unique. But I think it's fun. And I'm, I'm looking forward to going home and sitting on my deck and just relaxing. I don't get that very often. You know, I stay to myself up there. Like I said, I don't like drama. That's my relaxation. That's my happy place. 
But next weekend, going to the condo at the Catawba Island, those condos are gorgeous. Because I know people that live in those. And those are, any, they start at 500000 and they go up to a million. So that's a major, you know, uh, condo. And they're right on the water. They all have their own docks, too, so. And stuff. But God bless everybody. Elvira loves you all. Take care of yourself. Put yourself number one. Keep God and the angels in your life. And realize that you are an important person. And realize, take care of yourself. Put yourself number one. Because you know what? Nobody's going to do it for you. I lucked out. I just am a fighter. And that's why I've got things. See you soon. Bye.